Hey, our upgrade pace is looking solid right now. But I do think we need to push harder if we want to stay competitive. Here's the report. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to the Italian Grand Prix at Monza. And uh, yeah, we are being complimented on our upgrade pace, although we are at the bottom of the midfield. Anyway, on to the track and practice one. And um, track acclimatisation went pretty well. We managed to score a 3.15, uh, 20 points off the best one, unfortunately. But um, nonetheless, it was still a good lap around Monza, where I was feeling pretty confident. Tire wear. We was in the purple, but I just could not get the time down enough to actually make it count. Um, we was using um, worn engine parts, so the, the pace was, was off. Um, but we did manage to get um, fuel saving in the purple, which was pretty good. We managed to get the pace for that. So, um, yeah, maybe as the track rubbered in, um, things started to improve. On to race pace, and our race pace was looking pretty solid. We was nearly six tenths up on the... Um, a recommended pace so we got a purple for the race pace as well and um, yeah I did rerun the tire wear program and as you can see I did manage to keep the delta down and get it into the purple in the end so um, yeah all in all a good practice session I think we did um, reasonably well um, quality pace was almost a second over what was expected so um, yeah the pace is looking good for this weekend Our target was ninth and we absolutely smashed that in the estimations on to qualifying though guys and it was a totally different story we actually had a wet session so um, we went out nice and early filled the car up and our early lap got us into P2 um, following time around we was improving by nearly a second um, but we still weren't able to go faster than um, Roman was still like a second and a half off Roman um, but lap 3 we was another second up so um, that's actually going to slot us into P6, uh, but still 2.2 seconds off the leaders. So, um, yeah, and lap six. We had a scruffy lap, it looked like, from start, but we found a lot of time, it seems, or a bit of time through Parabolica. And um, we're going to improve here by quarter of a second. But, um, yeah, I was just trying to stay out and, you know, keep the laps consistent. We're a lot close to what Grosjean was now, I think, as well. Only two seconds off the leaders, but... Um, yeah, this is the final final part here. We went out in the intermediates because the track was starting to dry out. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to take a chance. But um, I don't think we was quite ready for intermediates uh, as we was massively off the pace. And we just got through to Q2 here with um, a P15 position. On to Q2, though. And um, we only actually got two runs here. Uh, I can't remember what happened at the beginning. But um, our first run slots in into P7. Um and that was our best time and on to Q3 here out early on the intermediates but um, we had this massive incident and invalidated our lap time and the track was actually drying out at this point so um, as you can see my time is massively down I just couldn't get the car slowed down but Vettel is out on the super softs uh, in pole position so um, yeah it was time we need, we've got enough time for one or two laps here, so we really got to make these count because we've not got a time um, set yet, I don't think, or, or a valid time at least. So um, first time around, coming across the line with 140 left in the session, and we go provisional pole. Provisional pole position with a 128, sorry, 126.7. Uh, so could we be seeing our first pole position here? I don't know. This, this is really exciting here but as we go massively, massively... Um, wide and too fast there so that's not going to help but I think if we can put our foot down we can get round for another lap and um, you know try and improve we've got 122 left in the session so um, yeah so um, we did go over in 12 seconds to go in the session so at the minute we are still in provisional pole we were the last ones over the line so you know we are, we, we've got the track at its best we have been pushed down to 10th position here though so um we are almost a full second up on our previous best and still gaining. It's looking really, really good. Can we make pole position? No. We was nowhere near in the end. It's quite weird, really. You know, we was pole position and then the AI improved that much. Even despite us improving by like 1.2 seconds, um, we still want to do it. Anyway, over to Crofty for the grid. Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Raikkonen, Daniel Ricciardo, and Verstappen, Perez, Hulkenberg, Ahas, and Esteban Ocon, Grosjean, Kvyat, 
Lance Stroll and Palmer, Sainz, Alonso, Felipe Massa and Stoffel van Dorn, Verlein and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. This is our engine supplier's home Grand Prix. Let's give them a race worth watching. So it seems that Massa had a grid penalty which promoted us up to P9. So, um, yeah, we're just going to uh, get everything nice and ready on the formation lap here. Nice and slow off as uh, Ocon swings right in front of me as I was just you know, taking my time there and to, to get started. But, um, yeah, hopefully we can um, do well. We're doing a reverse strategy of most of the cars around and starting on the softs, going on to the super, which, super soft. And it's five lights, red lights. And away we go for the Italian Grand Prix at Monza. And we get a pretty good start. There's the, no real challenge from behind. We're just going to tuck into the slipstream here of Hulkenberg. And we're actually going to dive down the inside here to try and gain some place. I'm trying to be a bit more aggressive on the starts. Did actually have a little wheel touch there with Raikkonen. But I kind of hold the outside, leave space for the red ball behind me. But, um, uh, you know, he kind of nudged into us. But he's, uh, Ricardo has lost out the place there to Verstappen. But... Um, yeah, a good game there. I think we was we, we did pretty well. We was very aggressive, I will admit, but up to P5 from the grid, making up four places down to the first corner as we enter the first chicane. And the two Finns here actually have a little bit of a moment. I think Bottas was a bit uh, sliding around a bit, and that compromised Raikkonen's exit. And um, we actually managed to go around the outside of Raikkonen and move up to P4. So that's absolutely excellent start, up five places from our grid position. But... Um, now it's going to be all about trying to build a gap before the DRS becomes active on lap three so that um, we've got enough clear air and we're not going to be compromised down those straights because um, I don't think we're going to have an answer for the Ferrari power behind us. But we get very, very scroppy through the chicane there and um, that's actually put Raikkonen right on the back of us. So I'm going to head up to the outside to ready to take my normal racing line. Is Raikkonen going to dive down the inside? The Red Bull looks like he's going to have a look as well, but no, they both took in behind me and... Um, follow the train as we head over the start finish line to end the first lap so a good first lap up five positions uh, we just now need to concentrate get our head down and think about how we can you know build on this and um, are we going to get attacked down into the first chicane here I don't think so no reckon it's not far enough but um, good exit from me here and we should um, you know, be able to start building a bit of a gap between me and the car behind so onto lap three, and Ricardo has actually got past Raikkonen here. He's going to have DRS against us as I head out to the outside. Take a little bit of grass. I went that wide, but um, Ricardo's going to look down the inside, but he's too far back. And um, I'm not sure if we made contact there, but something happened to Ricardo. I don't think I was too aggressive. I don't think I chopped him off, but he's um, he's had a moment, and um, he's actually spun. And that's actually given me a bit of breathing space behind me. If it, if it was my fault, I do apologise, but... Lap 7 here, and Vettel has dived into the pits. That promotes us to a podium position here, and the P3. So, um, yeah, just keeping our head down, keeping um, the corners going nicely, trying to hit every apex we can, and keep the gap. We've actually got a teammate behind us now, and um, there is a quite substantial gap between me and him. So, uh, so far, everything is looking good. We've got a seven-second gap, in fact, to uh, Grosjean, as the timing screen just said there. But end of lap seven here, we're going to actually dive into the pits and make our stop to supers. So um, second half of the race here, we should be really, really fast on these tyres. Um, I just thought that going on the softs was going to be the best one. Um, the strategy worked really well for me in Belgium, and I'm just was really hoping that it would do the same for me here today at Monza. So um, let's hope that we can get a nice solid pit stop here from the Haas pit crew. And it's a 2.6 second stop. And um, we've only actually lost two, three places. Three places. So, yeah, we, we've done really well. And if the car's behind us pitted as we exit the pits and we almost get it massively wrong and head over the white line, which would have given us a, um, a penalty. So, uh, managed to hold on to that quite nicely. And, um, yeah, we just got Perez coming up behind us. We've got, still got a nice gap behind us as we are um, now on the faster tyre out of all the cars around us. Coming to the end of lap eight, and we've actually got Kvyat and Grosjean into the pits here, so um, that promotes us up to P5. Carlos Sainz looks like he's hanging it out on them soft tyres. Uh, he's done a really nice stint, but um, end of lap nine, he comes in, which gives us back our 
fourth position. So, um, yeah, everything is still looking good. I don't think we're going to chase Bottas. Bottas is too far down the road, so it's just a matter of keeping, keeping our heads down now and um, just pushing on now to the end of the race. Fingers crossed, you know, we can uh, get a good end of the race. But uh, end of lap 10, and um, we had a bit of a moment here, guys, coming down to the chicane here. Um, I broke too late and went out too wide, and that caused us to like go over the the gravel a little bit. But we managed just to keep it off the barrier and avoid the um, avoid any damage. So we quickly reverse it back onto the track as Perez comes around here. We're not going to interfere with Perez, but um, yeah, we've got a teammate right behind us now. Who um, maybe we did hold up a little bit, so I probably apologise for that. But I was just trying to you know, get going again. Uh, there was room on the outside to get back. But interestingly, I can see Raikkonen is actually behind Grosjean here. So um, something Raikkonen um, not particularly had a great um, stint here. But um, at least with my teammate behind me, it's not one of the faster cars. And I'm pretty confident that I, I can build a nice gap again uh, for these remaining three laps of the race. I was chasing down Perez, but lap 13, we just, just wasn't quite close enough, um, just outside of DRS. Unfortunately, Grosjean couldn't hold Kimi Raikkonen off, so lost the position. Uh, so I have got Raikkonen behind us, but um, on the soft tyres, I think we've got the advantage over Raikkonen. But um, yeah, as we come down the back straight for the final time here, we're just not going to be close enough to Perez. So um, unfortunately, that incident has cost me uh, a couple of points, but um, nonetheless, five points is a solid points haul for both myself um, and the team for fifth place there so um, yeah all in all really happy with the race from p9 to p5 at the finish line thank you for all your hard work out there that was a strong drive and a good finish well done so taking the early stop worked out for sebastian vettel as he finishes the race in first position ahead of lewis hamilton and valtteri bottas in third position we gifted sergio perez with fourth place with our little instant there on lap 10 but we finished fifth kimi reichland sixth our teammate in seventh so a good solid points haul for the Haas team today at monza Moving on to the driver standings, Lewis Hamilton remains in first place with Kimi Raikkonen and Valtteri Bottas in second and third respectively. We hold a solid seventh position, but our teammate Rosen Grosjean with his points actually moves ahead of the Toro Rosso of Carlos Sainz into tenth place. So both Haas drivers now are in the top ten in the driver standings. So um, yeah, that's um, really, really good progress. Definitely the uh, the best of the midfield right now. So it's as you were in the constructors with Mercedes, Ferrari and Red Bull in one, two and three. We're still in fourth and um, strengthening our position over Force India to 19 points. Renault move ahead of Toro Rosso by a matter of two points now in the constructors with their point scoring finish. Guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back real soon with the next Grand Prix. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.